my county, I came into work this morning, full disclosure, we have an area where we kind of hang our suit jackets and stuff. I came in this morning, Mike, and I saw a stampede rodeo style shirt and I had to scratch my head and figure things out, but you can explain why <laughs> you had it this morning. Exactly. Well, there's a big event happening this weekend, actually, tonight and tomorrow at the Agrium here on the Stampede Grounds. It's the Pro Rodeo Canada Series Final taking place, and I'm riding Fletcher this morning. <laughs> Katie joining me. Katie, Katie is Miss Rodeo Canada, which is an amazing title. <laughs> well, thank you. I think so. See if we can get Fletch to stop here. <laughs> and this, this event is big because it's kind of leading up to the end of the season. Exactly. So competitors have been competing all season long to qualify for this event, and this is their last shot before our big show, the Canadian Finals Rodeo in Edmonton, and uh, there's a lot of money up this weekend, so it's make it or break it time for most, or for a lot of the competitors here. And lots of different events as well. Exactly. So you'll see all the major rodeo events here. So uh, we've got your bareback riding, bronc riding, and bull riding over here on the rough stock end as Fletch strolls off yep. there. <laughs> and, you might have to uh, just follow me. <laughs> I'll come with you. And uh, on the timed event end, you've got your team roping, tie down roping, steer wrestling, and the ladies barrel racing, of course, as well. One of the first things I notice is I rode in here on Fletch were all the lights. I've never been to a rodeo where there are strobe <laughs> lights and floodlights and what what is this all about? Exactly. We are so excited. Curtis Kessler has strung all these lights for us. Last night he worked tirelessly to put them all up and uh, we want to give you a different show. It's going to be rocking here when it comes seven o'clock tomorrow or tonight and tomorrow night. So uh, these lights are all put up here in the building and uh, they're really going to create a different atmosphere we think. We're, we're really coining it as rodeo like you've never seen it before so we're glad it's working. And you were also saying Katie that in the stands fans can actually take part in certain things as well. Exactly. We, we don't want you to just sit down and watch the rodeo. We've got a lot of fan involvement this year so I'll be roaming around the crowd um, doing some questions and interviews with the crowd and then we've also got some social media interaction too and uh, I've got some fun trivia together for you for this event so nice. I can't wait we've got some goofy questions okay so I was saying earlier when I, I've ridden a horse probably three times in the last three months which is more than my entire lifetime put together mm -hmm. I've only ridden a horse just a nice little slow walking mm -hmm. um, can we take it to the next level I think we can like I, I think would you say can handle it like a trot we can we can trot I think yeah so we're gonna drop our hand a little bit give him his face okay. and just Squeeze with their legs really gently, and Fletch is pretty lazy, so it takes a little bit to get him going. But uh, there you go, and now you're trotting. <laughs> Am I supposed to? How do you? I'm it bouncing just, along here. <laughs> well, I've been riding since I was eight months old, so it kind of it takes some practice. <laughs> but Sorry, you did Fletch. very well. <laughs> he doesn't see, seem to mind. I see that could hurt after a little while. A little bit. You get what's called saddle sores on your legs. Amazing so. saddle sores. <laughs> oh. I think I'm going to have to practice a little bit more. I'm going to throw it back to uh, Ted and Jill. I'm going to try this. Uh, let's try another trot again. Sure, let's go, Fletch. <laughs> Mike so has just give him his head the and dazzling give him shirt, and he needs the riding <laughs> skills to match it. <laughs> Some work to do. He's a city you slicker. Start at All right, 7.56. We're checking in with Mike Yanni. He is down at Stampede Park talking about a rodeo that's happening, and you, that rodeo clowning it up right now, Mike. Explain what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good look for me. It's the it Pro Rodeo fair, yeah. Canada sure. Series Final this weekend. Yeah, clowning around here. Okay, but you know what? We were talking before the commercial break. I said, uh, you know, the bulls, does, are they attracted to the color red? So I was going to say, do you guys have any idea what a bull and cameraman Nick have in common? <laughs> They're both colorblind. <laughs> Am I right? They are both colorblind. Uh -huh. Bingo. It is a f it's a myth. They are not attracted to the color red. Uh, the it's the movement that they're attracted person. to. No. I know, kind of strange, eh? Hey? <laughs> yeah, kind of odd. I always question cameraman Nick all the time. Uh, but the person that told me actually uh, is actually inside this barrel. Take a look at this. Dennis Halstead, see if we can get the view right in there. Tucked away inside the barrel. That, it's like origami. You fold yourself and you can sneak in there. Can, come on out of here. Because I've got to say. Good morning. <laughs> you, you are crazy. Who, who on earth decides I want to get into a barrel and let a giant bull come running at me and then hit this with you inside? My parents were in a rush, buddy. It's not yeah. my, my DNA. I can't help it. This is just the way I turned out. So. Why? Why do this? Uh, adrenaline junkie. I mean, uh, I still don't believe I get paid to do what I do and I make a living doing what I do. So it's just a dream come true. And now I'm fortunate enough to sit with the top five in the world. So it's pretty cool. Wow. And it's amazing to chat with you because the stories that you've been telling us this morning <laughs> of what it's like being inside when that bull's coming at you, not only the anticipation, 
action. But when it comes up and hits, this barrel, I should point out, is about 250 pounds? Yeah, about 250. And then, of course, me being a bulked up myself, like I am 170. Yeah. But, yeah, actually, they estimate it's like being hit by a Datsun truck doing 25 to 30 miles an hour. That's the G-force when you get hit. And the secret in a barrel is to try to stay tight. If you become loose inside here and the bull's still hitting you, that's when you get into trouble. You brace yourself. As much as you can. You've been hurt. Uh, yeah, like I said, I just got my bell rung here about three weeks ago and stuff. But that's, uh, that's just the nature of the job. I mean, you're playing with a 2,000-pound animal that wants to piece. Of you, and uh, that just comes with a job. See if we, you can hop out there. I just want to let people at home see what it's like inside, because there are certain things. So let's bring the camera up and kind of give us the tour of inside the barrel yeah. here. Well, of course, the, you can see the two red handles there. That's how I can pick it up. You know, you get a bull paw on the ground and stuff. I can pick it up and walk it into the bull. And of course, naturally, when I do go down, you've seen you got to stay very low and tight. And I hook my arm underneath the one uh, cable, and that's what keeps you tight inside. Okay, so the idea here is I'm going to hop in this, and you're going to give me a little roll to see like what it's. A hot dog through a Let's, this <laughs> Let's see if I can even get in. We got you. Oh, you can get in. I know you're flexible. Well, yeah. You? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, the bull's coming fast. The bull's <laughs> yeah, the bull's there. coming faster, faster. Faster. Okay. I'm going to put both. Let's see if I can even squeeze in this thing. Holy smokes. Oh, yeah. I, you, I may not get out. Get in, I may not get out. I may not get out. We'll see. Okay. Take the hat off. Got the hat off. Brace myself. You in there? I'm in. You ready to try this experience? Oh, uh, no, but okay. Well, let's, let's see how oh, my gosh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Feeling like a ride at the circus? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sit here for a few and minutes and get my you know, bearings. Thousand pound animal doing that to you, and you're moving about 60 miles an hour through here. So and yeah, probably it's flipping a little wild. bit faster. It's pretty flat. Wow. Amazing. Right. You've got an incredible job. I, I, I could not do this. I'm, as I said, I'm gonna sit here and get my bearings. So I guess tonight you coming in and sitting in for me in the bull riding ain't gonna happen. <laughs> He's got a backup. He's got a backup. There you go. Mike Yanni's going to need to go see a chiropractor, I think, after this week. I think week. Dennis went easy on him. Yeah, I think a he bull did does too. not do the gentle roll. No, they don't just. <laughs> they don't just tip push, it. Push, push. They're like thrashing you around. I sure am, uh, Andy. And you know what? I've got the costume off and I'm ready to try my hand at something a little bit different. It is the Pro Rodeo Canada Series final taking place at the Agrium Centre on Stampede Grounds this weekend. It's been an amazing morning hanging out with these professional athletes. Uh, I want to introduce you to somebody uh, standing over here. Clint, uh, you've been team roping for quite some time now. Yeah, about. 10 years or so, the last five years professionally. Now you've actually kind of had an interesting start because you said when you were younger, there were no cattle to rope. Yeah, I grew up in Abbotsford and uh, there wasn't a whole lot of team roping there. There was a little bit, but um, so we improvised. We uh, I had a lot of siblings and uh, <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> my little brother and sister, they were troopers. They put on the hockey helmet and the, and the flak vest, and we roped them I quite a bit. So, I love yeah, it. it so you got to get your start somewhere, right? Exactly, yeah. This is the only team event actually yes. taking place this weekend. Yes, it is. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's great. you got to partner you rope with and travel with and become best friends throughout the summer. And, uh, well, hopefully best friends. Some guys turn into enemies. But <laughs> depends how your season goes, I guess. Your best friend standing over there, Trent. Yep. And Trent's actually going to show me a thing or two when it comes to roping. So apparently I've got to get, got to get the glove on. Yeah. I, I'm going to let you demo to show me how yep. this is supposed to look so everyone at home has a good idea. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to stand back, let you do your thing. And, of course, don't forget the, the calf would be running, running and you'd be on a horse. Yep. Here we go. Easy as that, right? Yep. Yeah, simple. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to pass the mic off to you. I'm going to put the glove on. Because you said rope burn, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I don't even know if I'm holding it right. Yep. Just like that. Hold that now, and then first thing I want to do is around my, I don't want to yeah. rope you. Nope. Okay, so stand back, right? Yeah, and then just take a few swings. Kind of like this. Yeah. Now, how and much speed do I have to get going here? No, that's plenty. And then start walking towards the dummy. Oh, start walking. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, I'm pulling. I, got, I, I didn't expect to actually get it. Yeah. There you go. What noise am I supposed to make when I, <laughs> when I get it? Well, you can pull it this way. But yeah. There you go. Now, yeah. um, <laughs> I should point out, Katie, Miss Rodeo Canada, said that, well, a good team roper should be able to rope a moving calf, and of course these guys do it, and she claims she can do it too. So I'm here, I'm going to be the calf, I'm going to start walking. We're going to give this a shot, she claims this is not going to hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. And thank you for not pulling that too tight. Still lots more to come on the show. Uh, back to you guys in the studio for now.
it's bareback time. That's all I gotta say. And at first, when they said this, I was like, "You gotta be kidding me!" They're like, nope, we got the horse ready for you. They, uh, I put the chaps on. I've got the glove on. Kyle, professional bareback rider. Um, I don't even know what I'm getting into now. Well, this is where it all <laughs> starts. This is the fun part now. You get in here. This is this is Fletch here. He's one of the one of the best ones in Canada. So now we say the best is in like the most tame or the wildest. No, I think probably <laughs> one of the one of the buckinest ones, the hardest ones to ride. Uh, amazing. <laughs> uh, so, w when it comes to bareback versus bull riding, what is the difference? Well, in the bull riding, well, obviously, I mean, the big difference is this is a horse, not a bull. Ooh, but, of course. Um, other than that, you know, in the bull riding, your your main objective is just to stay on for eight seconds and and try to make a qualified ride. In the bareback riding, it's a little bit different. You actually have to spur for the full eight seconds, and that's where your points come from, is making a good ride on a great horse. Um, and that's what you're about to do today. I can't promise a great ride. It's probably a great horse. Can't promise a great ride, because I'm actually terrified. But well, I guess the first fun. part is yeah, sitting. You just crawl in. Is he going to go crazy if I when I sit on him? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> that's not what I want to hear. Just crawl over top here. OK. And go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and sit right down. OK, easy flush. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Fletch knows you're coming oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting ready. <laughs> he knows what's going on. Uh, this feels different than when we have a saddle on. Yeah, it is a little bit different. Yeah, okay. now you now. go ahead and you run your hand in this side here. And you use that hand and pull your fingers this way. Um, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. so my Just hand like feels it. pretty locked in there. It is very locked in there. This is actually what I'm going to be riding tonight at the rodeo. And that's, that's what holds you on. Right there. But if I need to get this out. <laughs> you don't worry about that. Well, I, I worry about that <laughs> no. because if, when you open up that chute, you want to stay on. <laughs> now to get it out, it, it is actually, they, they're set up to, when your hand is closed, they will stay locked in there. And all you got to do is open your hand and you drop your elbow and yeah. it pops right out. Okay. But um, as long as your hand is closed, it should never come out and you should be able to do whatever you want. Oh. Are you excited? No. You ready? Terrified? Yes. Okay, Fletch, be easy on me. So now what you want to do is stand up, bring your feet up a bar or two bars. Like actually stand on the bars? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of come up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Yeah. And then now sit down with your knees bent. Yeah. yeah. And you come right up to your rigging like that. Okay. And then I'm going to open the gate. <laughs> and then we're ready. Right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Okay, you Fletch. You just got to nod your head. Yep. Come on, Fletch. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Something tells me <laughs> this is no wild stallion here. Yeah, uh, Fletch might hey, be. Hey, I've made eight seconds. There you go. Fletch good might boy, be a Fletch, little bit thank easier. You. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good horse. Thank you. <laughs> they had me going here for a while. I'm not lying. Just so you guys know, if you want to check out the rodeo, it's 7 o'clock tonight and tomorrow. Tickets $15, 12 and under free. Um, yeah, what an amazing experience here this morning. That was awesome. Thank you. Good boy, Fletch. I thought, into that. I thought he was going to go. I'm like, dude, you better remember how to let go if you need to let go. Yes. Yeah. Keep the gate closed. <laughs> 855, we'll see you at Monday's show for you after the break. Stay with us. You're watching Breakfast Television on City.